Welcome back to another Ultra Arena Climb video. Currently, we are in Talent 1 and we are making our way up through the ranks. Today, we're going to be taking on an easy, a medium, and a hard match. The easy match is going to be against this person, Deku, right here. And previously, I used an all SR villain team like this one. And now I'm going to be using an all SR class 1A team. Now this I do expect to go a little bit better than the villain team because we have all so many of them SR plus, right? Like the villains were not all SR plus, not even close. So I feel like these are going to be very strong units. The biggest downside to some of these units though is their cooldowns like specifically kaminari kaminari has insane damage for an sr character probably the highest damaging sr character there is but his cooldowns are like absolute booty cheek so i had to sacrifice kind of memories that i prefer to use to use two of the festival music memories for uh action skill cooldown time to make this team somewhat reasonable so we'll see how this works Hopefully it'll be okay. We have damage reduction with Kirishima. We have Ida giving speed, which is pretty good. And like not many SR characters do what this Ida does right here. So if I go down to his auto, right? And take a look, auto skill one, fight fair, increases speed of all allies by 20% for five turns when the battle starts. Like that's one of the best SR auto skill passives that I've seen in the game. So it's really good. Also increases character's power by 15% when character has the ability to evade. So he's a very, very decent character literally for that reason alone. He is good besides that because he has, you know, evasion and other things that he can do. He also shortens his own action skill cooldown time when he has the ability to evade. So keep that in mind as well. So there is some action skill cooldown time there. Kaminari. Kaminari has one action skill that does damage, but like it does so much damage. So his plus ultra move can shorten his action skill cooldown time and he has a medium chance of paralyzing. His action skill one, uh, when character's power is increased, the skill gains piercing shot and increases skill impact by 30%. Like that's really strong. And then his action skill two gives him extra plus ultra gauge, shortens his action skill cooldown time by two as well when using a successfully executed skill chain. So we shorten his cooldown time by three. So that takes it from 11 to 10, nine, eight, about seven turns. Then we have action skill cooldown time on our memories as well. So I don't know if we'll have dead turns. I didn't do all the math. I think we'll have like one dead turn somewhere, but we'll have to see how it ends up working out. Okay, and then he increases his action skill impact by 10% when using a successfully executed skill chain up to five times, so he gets even more skill impact that stacks over time, and then increases his power by 20% when HP is 50% or higher, and then once per battle shortens character's action skill cooldown time by five when HP is below 50%. So hopefully this will work out for us. Once again, we lack a healer, so hopefully the defense that Kirishima offers will be enough, but we'll have to see. We have some dialogue between Bakugo and Kirishima. If you guys want to read that, feel free to pause the video. We're going to go ahead and hop into this here, though. We, I think, are going to go after Bakugo first because he has the AoEs. He can be the most annoying with his damage. So this one reduces damage to the character, shortens action skill cooldown time of allies. The other move here is going to reduce damage to character and increase his defense. I think we're going to go for that first. Then we're going to go for the... Ooh, what do I want to do? Increases characters plus ultra gauge, shortens action skill. I think we're going to do this first. Yep. And then... Skill impact is increased to speed. Increases skill impact by 30% when speed is increased, which it is. And it gives him the ability to evade. This one increases skill impact relative to speed. Gives character the ability to evade. Also gives character the, the ability to use two normal attacks for three turns. We want that one. All right. So we're going to go skill two on Kirishima. Skill one on Kaminari. Skill two on Ida. We are faster, which is great. Woo! Kaminari without a crit, bro. He that You're telling me those are SR numbers? Like, that's good, right? That's really good for an SR. Beautiful Ida kills with his double attacks. Love to see it. All right, so that is one character dead. Let's just kill all for one here so we don't have to deal with his AoE. Oh my goodness, let's freaking go. This team's goaded. Team's doing really well, actually. Okay, they get some damage down. Not a big deal. Whatever. Alright, I vote we kill Deku here. We'll go ahead and use all of our plus ultras. We actually have Kaminari's actions to go back up to, which is nice. Uh, we should be able to kill here. He's fine. 14,000, beautiful. Let's see how much he does with his plus ultra. 
I didn't even see the number. It was decent though. And he got the paralysis, which is big. 14,000 from him. Nice, dude. I feel like the combination of Ida and Kaminari is kind of popping off, honestly. All right, so we go like this, we go like this, and we go like this. He's definitely dead, right? Oh yeah, he's so dead. 26,000 without a crit. Like, guys, I'm telling you, this Kaminari, if you need a good damage dealer and you're new to the game, that Kaminari is the, the guy for you. His damage is actually insane. Like, it is the best SR damage in game. I really do think so. It's so good. I love Ida with the fan here. It's so cool. <laughs> I love seeing that, Ida. Let's take a look at the damage numbers really quickly and see who did the most. I imagine obvious. I imagine it's going to be obvious, right? Like, it should be Kaminari, but you, you never know. So, actually, it was pretty close. Kaminari with 59,000, Kirishima with 50,000, and then Ino with 48. That was actually pretty dang close for all of them. All right, now we need like a medium hard match. How much battle power did that team have? That team had 221,000. Okay, so we need like something that doesn't have steampunk characters, but a little bit over like 300,000, probably something that's not going to be crazy. I I feel like we have a chance here. This might be the hard match, honestly, but I think I think we can do it. What's our battle power at? Our battle power is three. No, this is this is the medium match. This is definitely a medium match. So I think we can win this one. It might be a little bit more challenging than the last one, but I definitely think we can win this one. So let's give it a shot and see how we do here. I think I think we can do it if I'm being honest, but I, I don't know. There's always a chance that I just get clapped and I was wrong. So I think Shigaraki needs to die first because I know he can out. Actually, both that Deku and Shigaraki can output like a decent amount of damage, but Hopefully Kaminari won't get targeted too hard because he has type advantage against them this time, so we'll see. Reduce damage. Great damage. And we get the double attack there. Who are they gonna go after? Ida beautiful with his dodge. Let's go, my boy. That's fine. That's fine. If you guys want to attack Ida, I'm so good with that. Alright, we should be able to kill Shigaraki here. Beautiful, he is dead. And now we definitely want to go after... Ooh, I was going to say Deku here, but maybe Aizawa, because his skill seal is annoying. Yeah, I vote... I'm going to vote for Aizawa, even though Deku's damage can be annoying. I'm going to try to kill Aizawa, assuming nobody gets bound or anything right here. Okay, we're good. 14,000, okay. How much does he do? Come on, kill him. 8,000, not as much damage as I actually expected from the plus ultra. I guess his action skill does most of the damage, but still. Okay, not bad. All right, now we kill the Deku. So we go like so. Get the double attack, nice. Oh my gosh! Oh, I told you, I told you you could hit hard. Maybe I should have killed the Deku. Oh, no. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine. We kill Deku here. Goodbye. All right, we continue. And we should be able to kill Bakugo here. Hey, at least we get to see our other characters, I guess. If we're... Struggling on the medium match, though. The hard match is going to be hard. Alright, and this should wrap it up for us. Beautiful. Let's go. That uh, Todoroki and Baku actually do decent damage as well. I feel like... I just, I don't know, I just wanted to use the Kaminari, but Bakugo, once you get him to a certain point, he's actually fairly strong. Keep in mind, you have to buy his pieces from the USJ shop, though, so it does take a while to get this particular Bakugo uh, up to level 120. Now, let's take a look at the damage really quickly. Okay. You know what? Pretty actually evenly distributed between the characters. Not what I expected to see. I am genuinely a little bit surprised there. We need to take on a hard team. And I think this qualifies. Now, they don't have the best characters. They do have two SR characters. But they do have a UR plus Red Bakugo. 
And that in and of itself is going to make this hard because that guy can do amazing damage and block buffs. Like, he's so annoying. And then they have two All Mites on the sub slots. Like, we are going to struggle. And they almost have 100,000 more battle power than us. So I see no better way to test ourselves than this team right here. This is definitely a hard match. I would like to win. Sometimes we don't always win our hard matches, but I got to give myself a chance, right? I'm not going to take on Celebration and Steampunk teams just to lose because there's no chance this all SR team beats uh, Celebration and Steampunk. So with that said, we uh, do this. We do this. We have to kill this boy, right? Like he's our number one priority and we're too slow. Crap. This might be bad. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. He's going to destroy us. Yo, okay, I thought Kaminari just died turn one right there, honestly. 20,000 is good damage, but it's not enough. We need the crit, man. We just haven't gotten very lucky. We're landing crits. And we are going to be slower still. Oh, no. Kaminari is dead. There it is. Goodbye, Kaminari. Do we have a chance? I don't know. I guess we'll get to see how well this Todoroki performs damage-wise. He does have uh, damage reduction as well for our team, so that's something. But Okay. I think we can kill. I think we can kill him. Alright, come on, plus ultra. Yo, it's so close. No, why did we miss? Why did we miss? What is this game? Okay. We need to... Okay, we're going first, so we get to kill him. Good. Goodbye. Damage down, evasion, beautiful. I think Ida survives this turn. He does. Okay. We get... Oh, this all might also hits hard. We get to go after him. We're, but they get to go first. Crap, somebody's going to die from all my one-punching them. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. Let's go, Kirishima. Way to tank. Oh, Ida with the 17,000 crit. I love to see it. Nice little crit from Kirishima there as well. All right, we need to kill. We need to kill All Might because he'll be getting plus ultra soon. We might just die here. Okay, no one's dead yet. No one's dead yet. Okay, let's go. Beautiful last hand procced and dead. Okay. Yo, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Better than I thought we'd do, honestly, for the hard match. All right, we are down to our last characters and, and we're, we're in rough shape. I'm not gonna lie, we are in rough shape. Let's see how this goes. Okay, come on. Oh, I was really hoping Bakugo would do a little bit more damage there. Yeah, we're screwed. Bakugo dies here. Oh, nope. They went after Kirishima, so Kirishima's last stand actually ended up tanking an extra hit for us. I don't see any way we do this, but uh, we'll try. Yo, if I could just kill Kirishima, I would have been happy, but that's okay. It's not going to happen. All right, you know what? For a hard match, I, I feel like we put in a good effort. We, we tried really hard, and I feel like it wasn't terrible. I want to take a look at the damage numbers because we did okay. That was 100,000 more battle power than us. I want to remind you guys, that's how much more, and we just <laughs> de-ranked. Uh, unfortunate. Take a look at the details. 95,000 from Todoroki, actually, and he's more of a defensive character. That's crazy. Bakugo really underperformed, but he didn't really get a chance to do anything. Ida actually was goaded. Kaminari got destroyed right away, so yeah. Actually, that this kind of should give you guys an idea of which SR characters are better for PvP because like look at their SR Todoroki He was doing bits as well. Not that any SR characters are really relevant in like higher ranked meta play But you know, hopefully this just helps out a little bit If you guys did enjoy this ultra arena climb video, please consider going down there hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button And thank you all so much for watching. Peace